Snowpiercer is a 2000, well technically 2013 film if you want to take into account that that's when it was released in Hong Kong, but it's a 2014 film for when it was released in the US. The plot of this film is it's in the future. It's like the year 2031 where the government had tried to combat, counteract global warming. And the climate, the weather was so out of control that they built this thing to try to take control of it, but clearly it didn't work. Because now the world has frozen over and a ton of people are dead. Nearly all of humanity is dead. So we see that the only survivors left have boarded this train created by this one man. And this train has a class system. The upper rich class are in the top of the train. They get treated like royalty. The back end of the train is the poor and they get treated like absolute shit. So we meet Chris Evans, who he's been at the back end of the train this whole time. And he makes it his mission to start a revolt. And he leads a group to go through the train, make it to the top, and basically end this for all. Now what I thought of Snowpiercer was, I like this movie a lot, actually. And it was a pleasant surprise, too, because I had a feeling I might be into it, judging from the good reviews. But you never really know just how much you're going to like a movie until you see it yourself. And Chris Evans, he was great. I've already known by this point how good Chris Evans is as an actor from the Captain America movies and even some other serious movies that I've seen him do. But still, honestly, when I think of Chris Evans, right after Captain America, I still sort of remember the Chris Evans who used to be in comedies all the time, who was always jokey and one of the funniest actors around. So it's funny to see just how serious of an actor he wants to be. This is clearly the type of movies he wants to make. I heard that as soon as he's done with Marvel, these are the type of films he wants to act in, direct himself. So clearly you see why he's committed. And there's another character that he runs into played by Sung Kang Ho, who I've never seen him before this movie, but I liked his character. He at first seems like sort of a drug addict, a guy who they only take up because he knows how to open the gates, to break into them. So they go through there and there's a couple times where you're thinking he's just collecting all of these drug stuff from the higher class and he's just going to use it to get high but you see that he actually has his own plan he wants to use this to blow up a door to get out to the outside world and you instantly think that's not a good idea because the outside world is frozen you're going to freeze to death as soon as you step foot out there but when you hear his reason his rationale it makes you stop and think for a second whether he is right or wrong some of the other actors, Jamie Bell plays Edgar. He is one of Chris Evans' best friends, second in command of sorts. And I liked his character. He was funny. So I guess you could say he was the comic relief, but he wasn't too overly goofy or silly. He wasn't dumb. You still liked his character. We have Octavia Spencer, who always seems to show up in random movies like this. She never really disappoints with her acting. Most of the film, she's desperately looking for her son who got taken by the upper class because they'll take kids or they'll just do whatever they want to do with the lower class. Tilda Swinton plays somebody from the upper class. She is the most stuck up, annoying, but at the same time funny characters in this film. I feel like I haven't seen Tilda Swinton in the movie since maybe Constantine. So it was cool to see her here. And Ed Harris plays a character that, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't give away for spoiler reasons, but in the short scene he was in, he was good as always. And the director, Bong Joon-ho, who, this is his first film that's mostly in English. That's amazing. That's amazing that he wanted to veer off into a bigger type arena. And he still had 
his Chinese characters, though, who spoke Chinese. I like the technology, the device that they used to talk to each other, and it translated for them. So it didn't create any awkward moments of having to physically have a character there to translate constantly. Even the moment where Chris Evans sort of spills his story, his backstory, on what it was like before this all happened and what the first few years on this train has been like and the fucked up things he's had to do. So what more can I say? There was a lot of action, which surprised me. The special effects were pretty good too, which I don't know how big the budget was. I'm assuming it was a smaller budget since it was a smaller release and whatnot. The train scenes, the shootout scenes, the fighting little choreography scenes that they had, and the outside world seeing just it covered in snow. I'm pretty impressed with what this movie was able to pull off. If I had to rate this movie, which, I mean, it's already out now, I would have given this a full price. Snowpiercer definitely deserves a full price. Check it out if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have seen Snowpiercer. What do you think of it? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!